Hello YouTube, welcome back to another great Lightworks tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at how to rotate an image on a video. Last time we learned how to import an image using the keying effect. Also, the previous video we also looked at how to rotate text. If you want to watch any of those, click on the annotation. But if you want to know how to rotate at an image, then keep watching this video. So once you have imported your video as usual, click on the video time bar and click on add keying, add keying picture overlay. Now any of you that don't know what what I'm talking about because you haven't watched the previous video you should um, it tells you the basics of how to import an image over a video without with no rotation but this time we're going to rotate it so once you have clicked on that choose the image that you want once you have imported your image what we want to do is add 3D DVE again any of you that don't know what I'm talking about, again, please watch the previous videos that it'll, as it will teach you a lot. So right now, once you have 3D DV, what we want to do is test again to see if the image and the video are separate because that's what we want. So using the Z option, rotate it and as you can see, the video and the image are stuck together. That's not what we want. What we want is the rotation of the image only. So to do that, go to video routing again. Um, you can click on the button on the effects box or you can right click on the video bar and click on video routing. As mentioned earlier, video routing is just a visual representation of the functions and the effects on the video that you're editing. So as you can see, this is the base video, uh, this is the effect, the 3D effect, and the image. So to do this, what we want is to separate the image from the video. So to do this, what we want is to remove the blend option. So unconnect the connectors and move this along here and connect the video connector to the BG, which stands for background of the 3D DVE. So connect that and connect the image to the FG which is the foreground so now that once we have done this the video should now be separated from the image so close that and to test that out we'll just rotate it as you can see now it's separated now we can rotate it on its own again if you want to keyframe it just click on the Z clock and move the red diamond all the way to the end and enter in 100 or whatever degrees you want and if we would play that as you can see pretty difficult for you to understand if you don't know the basics however it's actually a really good tool if you want to advance your Lightworks knowledge and video editing but that's all for now guys I hope you do enjoy please leave a like share subscribe and of course comment below if you want your problems answered I'll get to you as soon as possible thanks a lot guys see you soon